Revealy face. Ha. Oh, thank boom. They almost got me that time. <laughs> Hello and greetings. I have made it to the surface. That's right. That tunnel was fine for a while. I think that's where I needed to be at that point in my life. Um, but it was rather drafty. Uh, so I'm glad to be back on the surface, although I still am on the run from the robot army that's trying to destroy me. But I did want to detach my uh, corn. I did want to detach my cyborg arm in order to use the camera implanted in the wrist for reasons I still have yet to ascertain. I to use the camera to record a message for you. And the message is, oh, excuse me. Camouflage. <laughs> the message is, you know, actually, before I get to the message, I would just like to point out that the robot army, not very smart. Uh, and it's a bit perplexing to me because they are plugged into my head. Uh, so you'd think that they'd be smarter than, oh, excuse me. You know, they'd never stop and ask for directions. No, I mean, other people would just stop and say, where is evil Trojan Borsch? And then would come and find me, but not robot soldiers, no. I would have come to the surface earlier, except uh, I realized just as I reached it that I'd left behind the meat pie that you'll remember was made out of the body parts that they removed, corn, the body parts that they removed uh, to cyborg me up, so I had to go back and, and get it. That was eh, embarrassing. It was, uh, it's embarrassing to admit. But now I'm here and I have a message for you. And the message is, oh, oh excuse me. Oh, okay. Here's the message. The message is, help, help me, help me. Help, I'm stuck and I'm running from the robot army and I've been running for a long time. I don't know how long, I don't know how far I've been running since I've been running from the center of the planet. Yes, I'm exhausted. Exhausty face, help me. I need safety, I need protection for the robot army. I need to go somewhere safe and... Oh, ha. Over there, there's a farmhouse connected to this field of corn. I wonder if they're in some way they have a custodial relationship with the corn. That seems likely. It's a farmer's house, so I'm gonna go over there, and you know what that means? Ha! It means there'll be a farmer's daughter that I'm in some way not allowed to sleep with, which will lead to hijinks. Oh, excuse me. 